Whenever you're ready, I can transition us. Okay, one sec. Let me turn my speaker phones off. And we can Make sure my phone is muted. Everything's muted. Let's play. Live. There it is. I'm live from New York. It's Saturday night. Hey, except that's copyrighted and that's not and what we're doing. And we can't say that because it's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't sue us. It's fine if I don't need 13 seconds from the... It's, I don't know. There we go. All right, everyone. And good evening. We're Legion and we're here again to go and start out this place. We've been with a little bit. We were off. We were hard. We were hard once during this evening. Hope that all of you are well. And we to start some ground rules. Remember, I love this home brew. I love it. Get up on the spot. So don't tell me because I give a fuck. You know from the get go. Also, enjoy. Take your time and relax. Brew a cup of tea, or maybe some coffee. And we're going to people going to join us today and get a chance to be remembered by you. And remember. The things. So this will be this thing very great, but we will, and we hope that you enjoy your time. Best. So, did everyone freeze for you as well? Did everyone freeze for you as well? Oh, just me. I literally hear no one. I literally hear no one. Everyone is frozen. I don't hear a single word. I'll message in group and let them know that I can't hear a word of them. I don't know why. Uh, em Emily can't, I can. He announced the technical difficulties to the crowd. Excellent. So, uh, what what is what is Windsor like right now? Windsor is actually it's it's still raining. Um, the weather is a little bit nippy as you're starting to get into the colder months. Mm. But at the moment, when you were going through your bags, Maha, do me a favor, roll a perception check for me real quick. Sure. All right, I have plus five to my perception, and I rolled a twenty-three. Oh, <laughs> we we started all sexy from the beginning. <laughs> Good. I'm not gonna forget I have inspiration as well. Yeah. No word. When you uh as as you're going through your bags, you realize the little bag that the goblin well, maid left actually had a note in it. There's a Ooh. small little note about Yay Big. Folded up in a nice what seems to be a very expensive piece of paper. A piece of parchment folded up on itself and there seems to be what looks to be a very intricate knot sealed. A little wax sealed that looks like a very intricate knot. Like right a on Windsor it. knot? Like a Windsor knot. Who oh. <laughs> okay. would have thought? Who would have thought? How did that goblin do it? <laughs> that sneaky, sneaky little goblin. Did they do it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume it doesn't look uh, 
scary, and I'm not going to do anything weird and assume it has magical seal on it or anything. You do as you like. Maha's just... Maha's just like, we're in our room, or I guess we're still in our room. Yeah. I'm going to open it. <laughs> uh, do me a favor, Maha, roll a constitution save. Damn it. Okay. It's uh, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Fuck. I mean, fuck. She's bad. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you open it, the one you hit a nice little crisp snap up. There's a very pretty letter. Mm-hmm. New oh, entities of Windsor. As you open it, Chris we snap. are humbly inviting you and your adventuring party to a small audience with Lord Windsor and his family tomorrow morning at sunrise. Mm. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm making another that. At sunrise. What time does the sun rise here? At sunrise. What, is that like 5 a.m.? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I'll, I'll go on. It's, questions. <laughs> it's actually, it be, considering that you guys are kind of in the mountainous area, it does rise up a little bit earlier, but here it's going to be about 7 o'clock. Oh, yes. A late sun. Perfect. <laughs> a late sun, yes. Oh, yes. So, uh, is that all? It just says we're nice handwriting we're gonna i guess since this is food from the duke of windsor yes well yes and you actually you actually do catch a little bit of a smell of lavender as you and move the paper around a little bit now if i recall we just had bread in here that jojo promptly ate it there um lucy lucy went went quite through it (laughs) um as you begin to notice though this seems to it looks like if though there's some crumbs in the bottom. It looks like if though somebody ate some of the stuff that oh was in God. the bag. The goblin ate the food. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love my goblins. It, it's it's little things. You notice that there may have been some <laughs> stuff that was in nice little delicate foils and things like that. They're not there. Just the wrappers. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Good for them. She loves goblins so much. <gasps> oh God, you're uh, gonna make me cry. Uh, so Mama's <laughs> gonna look at everybody. <laughs> Don't cry, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna be like, oh, we got to invite to Duke Windsor's uh, castle at sunrise. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> fancy, fancy. Uh-huh. Should we, we go? Do. Well, I don't see why not. Would it be worse not to go? Probably. Do you know? Noble. Do we know anything? Place. Well. We got this far without knowing much. I guess if we survive saying hi to Ebenezer, maybe. You Mm -hmm. see poor Ronan in the back just kind of nodding. Ah, yes. Oh, Oh, yeah, it's my time because we're about to go out. We were thinking about going out. It is. I I look over at Lucy and then Eric and I say, don't kill each other, okay? I look at Ronan. Make sure no one dies. You see Ronan, he just kind of nods. I'll, I'll make sure to keep the boys from killing each other. And you just see number two and Lucy just kind of looking at one another. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Pussycat? You're afraid to be alone with me? Is that it? It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it's going to be just fine. You and me, friends forever. I promise, Roy, I won't kill him. Okay. I might fuck him up. I won't kill him, though. I'm pretty oh, sure yeah, he so will. We're, we're leaving Eric and Ronan in the room. And you see number two kind of give you all a look on AKA Eric. Don't, if he attacks me, I'm going to kill him. Don't kill him. Mm-mm. Don't kill. Uh, we don't kill Maha. family. We scratch family. We don't kill family. <laughs> Maha's going so to a... push the rest of the bread for like... Peace. That's a really good <laughs> idea, Maha. Just Lucy, just keep eating Lucy? the entire night. <laughs> the bread will say say my anger for now. <laughs> the bread will. The, I'm going to allow my anger to be soaked up by these baked goods, and I'm just going to be here, and I'm going to be proper for now. <laughs> uh, Maha's going to look at Wilbur and wonder. Wilbur, why does Ebenezer know you? Hmm. You I don't know about me specifically, but people like him, they run the real city. They, uh, they usually know who comes and goes at all times. Probably knows all of us. 
Oh, he did not know my name. Mm. Mm. Does you actually uh, hit Ronan? Ronan will stop you for a moment. Mm. Maha, you have to understand. I don't think many people know your name. No offense to you, just mm -hmm. you can't really blame Ebenezer for that. You also lived in a shoe for a long time. And again, I look at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Maha likes when people don't know Maha's name. Uh, is is uh, Gord? You told me your name, Gord. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're the <laughs> yeah. Gold family. We got twelve other siblings. You know, they got a lot of them adopted, actually. Are uh, is Gord family famous? Famous? No, we're not famous. We just maybe, got our own hovel. Maybe in some parts, that mm -hmm. that, that one. Uh, Our father is the enterprising one, you know. He's well, the one that well, ooh, ran there, the family business, if you know. Well, I mean. there is Murdoch. He keeps getting into trouble, but, well, that's a whole nother problem. Yeah. You see Ronan just kind of put his hand over his mouth. Oh. Hopefully, it's good reputation. <laughs> no, I... And you see Ronan, I, the Gord family's been very good to me. And mm -hmm. Father Nor Gord was one of the reasons why I met Rory. So yeah, we actually I'll always grew be, up together. Always be indebted. Lucy and DM, did we grow up with Ronan too, I think, right? Remember, you actually learned how to do the clerical thing through Ronan. He was your okay. teacher that was brought to you by, by, by your father. So Understood. And of course, you fell in love. But he was, for some reason, as young as he's been, he's always seemed older. Maybe... Just the way that he acts at things, maybe just the way that he carries himself. Rona's always been very relaxed. An old soul. I'm gonna take it. So Maha is going to before we leave. I'm going to have uh, Maha's going to uh, split up the money again, yes. put it in all the various places, and then also uh, Maha has like nine daggers, and I, I don't know how that happened while I made that character, but. <laughs> I think um, it's fantastic. So yes. many daggers. <laughs> I think and I actually crowbars. hit. I, I, and then a bunch of crowbars. <laughs> you, you had like what, like four crowbars? I think I had was? seven. <laughs> or I had eight. It's or yeah, I had eight until Wilbur broke one. <laughs> or left, shoved it in some clockwork that never came out. But um, so uh, Maha is going to prepare to meet a crime lord. <laughs> fantastic. It's a first for everybody. I'm going to walk over to Eric, and I've already given everybody their share of the money, and he had said he did not want anything. So he had originally given us his ten gold. I'm going to get down on my knees so I'm eye level with him, because it's, I'm like a fucking eight foot lady. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> I'm a giant lady! You're a, you're a tall lady. Yeah. I get down on my knee, and I look him in the uh, face, and I go, this is your ten gold back. You should never be in a city without any gold. And here's to, uh, ten more. Because ten's just not enough. And I just kind of plop it into his hand. It'll buy, it'll buy ten hours with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment in Eric's face that he just kind of turns. <laughs> well, I am wrong. I, uh... Thank you for the gold. And he just kind of pulls it into his pocket and I am, I'm good. I, I, I'm good. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll be here if you need backup. By the way, we should have some type of safe word or perhaps something just in case if it tits up. I already told you the safe word. It's peaches. <gasps> peaches. Oh, How yeah. are you going to get it to me? Oh, I'll send a bird. Oh, but the bird, you won't understand the bird if the bird says peaches. But if a bird comes slamming into the window, I'm pretty certain that we'd be able to figure it out. But that happens more often than you would think. Random all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why don't we, we could write down uh, peaches and give to a bird. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a piece of that paper that the uh, mayor had sent, that really fancy paper, I rip it up, oh <laughs> I write peaches on it, and I start rolling it up, I say, I'll find a bed, don't you worry, I'll find a bed. I kind of open the window, hey bird! 
dead! <laughs> Best druid ever. Well, oh. I'm really excited to present this invitation to the Duke of Windsor with a rip in it. <laughs> Come here, bud! It was very important. <laughs> you see, it lands on the ledge. Yeah. I yeah. snatched the loaf of bread from Lucy. <laughs> Hey. It's okay, it's okay. Um, and then I uh, start like ripping it up into little pieces for him. But I, I got a message, and uh, I want you to follow us. And when I, when I tell you, I'm starting to tie the little thing around his ankle. When I tell you, you need to come back and deliver this message. Well, sure. And yeah. you can yeah. have yeah. all of this bread. All of it. And I pull out a couple of berries from my pocket and I put it down like, and some berries? The owl's eyes go very large. <laughs> all birds love berries. <laughs> is, the bird like a is the bird a toucan? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Imagine if it were. The fruit is. Is he a <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see you, obnoxious. All right. Any anything else we need to do to uh, before we talk to Mister Ebenezer? Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer does not look like Ebenezer Scrooge at all. He <laughs> not. Not even a little. Mm -hmm. Um. Maha will remember a safe word even while we are there. In case, uh, oh, well, you know, things go the way they usually go. <laughs> you hear Lucy in the back? Yeah, that's Tits the fuck up. Just mm -hmm. titties. Straight up. <laughs> Just Tits up. <laughs> Tits up. Every fucking time. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand why the muscle isn't going for this trip. Just throwing that out there too. No, I'm going to stay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here. But, I'm just saying, if it goes tits up. Uh, you are attuning to the night talent. You have big uh, job. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah. Get, get to work. Sort of work on fine, that. Fine, fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't cut actually yourself looks when at you uh, sleep. What was that? Don't cut yourself when you sleep. Yeah, that would be bad. Well, I'm I'm gonna put it. I'm not gonna pull it out of the scab. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it. You know. I don't know what kind of weird stuff you do. Yeah, we don't judge. Do I tune? Do I tune faster if I'm naked? I look yes. at Eric I, and I, I go, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I also look at it. Absolutely. Uh, you yes. just see, try that. Maha knows fur only. It's best. You see Ronan just pull out an apple and just kind of bite into it, just kind of looking at the both of them. <laughs> and you see Eric, please don't. Please. I can't, I can't be a whole evening just... I just, uh. I put my hand over his mouth. No, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh-huh. Hey, Lucy. I'm, I'm a sorcerer. Yeah. That makes, that makes, that's a clever, that's a clever little thing there. I like that. <laughs> you know, just shit down naked. It's gonna be me wait, and the sword. You gotta wait till we leave. I don't want to see your biscuits and berries anymore. <laughs> it's fine. All right. <laughs> and for the love of God, keep your sword sheathed when you sleep with it. <laughs> you don't want to lose anything. But what about like magic weapon to skin contact? We've truly become like one with each other. I, I feel. Yes. That that makes proper sense. I think it I will think. make the it talk to you. Very quickly. Oh, that's a good point. That's a very really good point. <laughs> you see Eric with Rory's hand still over his mouth. Or he could just cut himself with it in his sleep and maybe die. That's a possibility. Oh. That is a true possibility. I just kind of look down at him with my hand still over his mouth. <laughs> Maha trusts that if we get in trouble, that Lucy will come. Uh, clothed, hopefully, to save us. How much better oh, would no. it be if he's naked? I need you to oh. understand. If I'm coming, I'm coming naked. Think how and it's just gonna be me bursting through the front door, twigging bellies out. And I mean, Ebenezer wouldn't even know what's coming down. Exactly. It's just gonna be balls and ass, and balls and ass. And yeah, at, at that I just yeah. Yeah. that has to add at least plus ten 
to your intimidation that I have no idea about. Whoa! I don't, I don't <laughs> even Just know what you. To walk. What does that mean? That must be some sorcerer <laughs> magic right there. Oh. You were to kind of get things moving along. I'll go and I'll see that you guys are making your way out, and as you do, you start seeing Lucy already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just hear, you can hear Eric in the background. Oh, God. And the door will close right behind you. And as that happens, Johnny. Okay. Darkness. Just darkness. The quiet, subtle air. You've had this dream before. This isn't the first time. Every once in a while, just gentle reminders of the fact that you are what you are. Oh, Jesus. You know that this is the way that whatever powers that be communicate. Sometimes just darkness. And as you're sitting there and you're in your dream, and you know you're dreaming, you can feel it. You look and you see a door which I will send, which has been sent to the general chat. If you'd like to take a look. Yes, I will get a picture of it up so our audience can see. Ooh. I can actually uh, copy the link if we need to. That'd be great. Oh, please. Yeah. And it's just you. And the subtle wooden door and the forestry that surrounds it. The dream is yours, what do you do? I approach the door. You are. Uh, and please. what's the door made of? It seems to be iron. Iron and wood. Do I recognize my surroundings? You've seen this place before. Only in dreams. <clears throat> I knock once. I knock twice. I knock three times. <laughs> You see the door gently opens, and as it opens, bright light, and the darkness melts away. And all of a sudden, you're in a very strange place, but a place that you know. It's a sitting area, very elegant sitting area, actually. White tile floors, beautiful pillars, loft windows all throughout. The smell of fresh bread in the air, wine, absolutely, everywhere that you can go and have it. And then there's a chair. A very large, lofty lounge with its back to you. You don't see the individual sitting there, but you feel them. You know them. You felt this presence before. And they're just quiet. As always, hand on hilt, slowly walking up to this chair. Well, good sir, it seems you're in my seat. You gotta go turn. No one there. But you hear a soft whisper in your ear. That is the reason why I appreciate you so much. Never seen a throne you didn't want to sit on. Please, sit, eat, drink. Are there people in this room? 
as you look up now, they are. Pale people, transparent people, ghostly figures that are going about now, dancing amongst themselves, speaking gently, serving wine, cheese, but you know better. None of this is real. But they're there. But I would still treat it the same way I would treat being in an inn or tavern. I take my foot and I stomp the chair. I command the closest present. Kneel before me, for I need a chair. You see that one of the girls walk up to you. Oh. Dearest Lord, allow me. And he'll go and he'll get on his hands and knees. Please. I it is but a glorious thing to be your footstool. <laughs> I place my foot firmly. Can I... Does he wobble at all, or does he hold, hold fast? He holds fast. He's stronger than what he looks. This is great. <laughs> It seems you're rather stronger, chair. I prefer a little comfort, too. Loosen up. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 my liege. Please. And he'll kind of move his back a little bit, and he kind of... You see that your foot is able to move just a little bit. It gives you just a little bit of give. I, uh... I look around. It would appear I do not have somewhere to rest my arms. But oh, a chair liege. for me requires more than one. Yeah, oh, oh, yes, my liege. Uh, uh, allow me. I I'll summon the others. And you see that he picks a small little bell from his pocket. De -ding, de -ding. You see the peasants begin to come around you. And... You begin to go for a second. You see yourself in a small place, spa looking type thing. You see that your hair is being combed, that your hooves are being washed, your hands and fingertips being taken care of. And just light, and the softness of the area that you're in. I feel the... disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> How dare As you I, pamper me! You dare touch me! Do I have full control of this dream? Find out. <laughs> oh lord. As I sit... I will close my eyes because it's so odd. And when I open my eyes, I would like the world to be a flame, an ash. You hear the voice in your head one more time. Oh, destruction, is it? Is that what we're looking for today? Close your eyes. So my, my eyes are closed. <laughs> and now when I open them... What do I see? Darkness. And then a bright red light. As the world around you is consumed in flame. You hear silence, but the crickling crackling of flame and fire and destruction. <clears throat> you can taste the ash in the air. And then all of a sudden, you see it. Blackness on the sides and the corners. A crackling purple energy that courses through it. How far do you think you can get? You and I haven't met yet, but we will. I am curious, really, more than anything else. You see, I'm not your lord. Not yet. Kind of new in these parts of the world, but that's all right. You see, I'm interested in people just like you. People with prop circumstance. Don't be afraid. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm not here to hurt you. 
I'm here to broaden your horizons, perhaps. I see the you that you wish to be one day. When your liege comes to speak to you again, do us both a favor. Don't mention me. Wouldn't really be appropriate. You know how the Fae get when they hear that someone's trying to move in on their territory. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of power struggle. I'm Ooh. sure. I'm sure that when I meet him next, he won't be able to see any of this. Perhaps I will be free. Freedom comes with pain, and pain is the real teacher. And you hear a snap. When you come through, you're awake. You're holding your book in your hand. And she begins to flip open, and you see words. Young Steed, I have a mission for you. Something of importance. I need you to head to the city of Windsor. There are people that are going to need you. You know it when you see it. Prepare yourself. The world has just gotten odd. And it closes. Are my are my three retainers with me? They're not. They're actually out on mission. They're Very moving good. out and about. But you can check up on them throughout the day. Okay. Uh, I will open my book, write in my book. Uh, just a, a simple thing uh, for mission status. See how everyone's doing. You begin to go and write. You'll see after a few moments. They usually respond quickly. Retainer, you see one of them. Rorik. Liege. My infiltration of the Wild Mother Church is going well. Things are running smoothly. The other. My liege. I found an odd, small cult off the east coast of this continent. Walking around in white clothes. Their leader wears a ceramic mask on their face. I'll tell you more about it once I find more information. They're calling themselves the New Dawn. On the dirt. No answer. Okay. Uh, I would say I probably waited about ten minutes. See, see if anyone answers. If, if still no answer, uh, I would simply just write. Remember to keep them close and watch very, very far away. Because if they're going to trick you, it'll be while you're by their side. And then... Uh, just a note for, for my third retainer, who hasn't reported back. Also, for those who think I do not accept non-excellency, I'd like to hear back soon. Mm -hmm. If not, we'll discuss it later. You finish, and you're finished writing. In that moan moment, you see some scribbling. My liege, forgive me. I have found something peculiar. I can't discuss it now. Soon. That is all fine and dandy, but what? Did you find a cat in a hat with a bat? Who perhaps has a rat? If you did not find something so odd and misplaced, you should never take so long to get to me. For I care for you. Do not misplace my my love for you. 
<laughs> See that three little dots form up? <laughs> my love for you is sincere, my liege. Forgive me. I think I found a new religion. Something old. Something interesting. I will get you the information that you wish. Patience, my liege. Very well. A flame is a flame to be snuffed out the same. Report back when you have more. I am all that I can be, and I am yours in entirety. That goes for all of you. Don't <laughs> worry. This is you the best them. group chat. <laughs> yes, my You see? Yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. There's a comma on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Because one of them was a little bit of a grandma Nazi, if you think. <laughs> now, allow me a moment. I actually, uh, I need to go and make a quick, quick phone call. Um, so if we can, if you guys want to um, kind of talk amongst yourselves, please please do. Yes. I just need to get this real quick, yeah? Sure. Yeah. Go okay, on so ahead. Emily, I, I DM'd you. I was, I'm looking at the Twitch, and it looks like me and Daniel are frozen. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Shoot, you guys really are frozen. Yep. Also, D Daniel, can you hear me? Or not that, Daniel. Uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. Francisco or Emily? Francisco. Yeah. Francisco, can you hear me? We hear you? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm watching their Twitch for their video because I can see them on there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I have okay. my I have mine open, but I'm not running the um. I'm, I have it like set aside, like I'm not watching it, watching it because my poor little PC it, it would crash. Hmm. Why is oh. Leo uh, so are you, uh, how are you guys feeling about um? Uh, Ebenezer, so and, excited. Uh, mm -hmm. I I, I kind of uh, I think at least with Maha and Wilbur, it felt like we had to do it because we would offend someone. Right. Not that we've already pissed, not that we already have a duke also on our yep. literal doorstep, but... And as far as Wilbur is concerned, you know, from his experience, he probably feels that Ebenezer's probably going to be more trustworthy than the duke. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I think we... And now... We, you understand this. their intentions all better. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a tiny child. <gasps> Hi there. Go a mic. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Ray Ray? You okay? <laughs> or as most of the m most of the people who might be coming over from my neck of the woods, uh, this is Tiny Yossi. Hi, Tiny Yossi. Yossi, <laughs> thank you. Ray Ray, mm -hmm. come here. Oh, there you go. Big strong girl. Aww, oh, Ray, 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 say strong girl. Oh, goodness. I'm being shaken. Ah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Really? Oh. You're so big. So, so what's the what's your guys' status like right now? What's your main objective? So we have a few things. Um, Emily, keep her of throwing notes, please. So we have to throw trash away, that. put fire out in the other room, put door numbers back. We are number three to number six, number I, five I to number means, four. I think he means bigger picture. Oh. No, no. I mean, you're fine. Um, I have to get a poison. Explore the religion, the new dawn. We have to talk with Ronan, talk with Ebenezer. We have to speak with the Lord of Windsor now. Um, we We're have... going to the shoe oh, eventually. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then we have to bring Eric to St. Montgomery's. Oh, yeah. We do? Yes, because she at least knows who wrote TM. Hmm. Wait, why do we need to be here? Oh, because of the TM. Yes. 
I'm a little I'm a little bit worried about going back to Montgomery without something. I think it would be acceptable. Cause Eric is definitely something. Yeah. Um, I have to go to a service. Then we. Are you just gonna give? Tana. Are you gonna give number two over to Montgomery, just like a gift? Like this is yours, please. No, no. Look no, at no, his we, bones. Would, we would do that. Maybe Eric his arm. Eric's family. <laughs> I oh, I can't. You are. It's beautiful. Oh, very cute. So. So, uh, are, are, are we, are we making our way? Making, Making way your way downtown. Walking hey. fast, faces pass. <laughs> you see a bard on a piano just slide by. Why does that keep happening? <laughs> oh, this God. is where we go to, it happens. Every time. So, you begin your trek over to um, the place known as the Den. It's starting to get a little bit dark outside. You see that there's still quite a bit of people walking around there. And it, it seems to be a, a lively place. Even at this time of night, even with everything going down, there always seems to be movement. And you don't see any of the new dawn walking around or anything like that. But you do see, as always, the wily wenches yeah. over, by the, over by the steps. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking past, hey, 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 hey. Do you hey, see hey. Sarah? And you do see Sarah. And you see that Sarah has on some very nice looking clothes all of a sudden. Looks like that she spent some of her well-gotten gains. Ooh. Uh, Maha is... If she's not working, Maha will wait. Oh, even then, when you guys walk out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wave to all of you. Be hey. safe. That's what we do. Oh, is it still raining? It is. Gently. Okay. Maha doesn't need the umbrella, then. No. <laughs> uh... So we're outside the the house. It's like the den's the red roofed house, right? It is. Uh, somewhere on here. Yeah, over here. Uh, Maha's gonna go up to the front door and kind of see if it's just like an like an open door, like you would a, ta a tavern or something. As you uh, we begin making our way, let's pull out some people. Get you guys over here real quick. Mm -hmm. And you're taking Archie with you, correct? Yeah. Correct. Oh, forgive me. These, these mignonettes are not here. Aww. Oh, they just poofed. Accurate. Just, just like magic. Actually, this was. And you see, they did. <laughs> you see, that there's a little bit of um. There, there are quite a few guards out. You notice that the, that the town, even though it, it's small, there's a very large guard presence in the evening. Mm. And as you start to make your way up to the den, you see a familiar face. Is the it? gentleman that stopped you on the bridge with some other street-looking toughs just kind of standing there. Oi! Oi! Hmm? Oh, hi there! Oh. Um, Ma stands by Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur looks bored. Maha just looks at them and then, hi. Mm -hmm. And he leans in. You hear to rub it in. Well, oh, I thought we were good. What are you here for? Oh, oh. you know each other. Yeah, and, you know, kind of side eye. Oh, no. We met. Yeah, um,. Oh, and you actually see one of the toughs walk up to him, give him a little bit of a whisper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your um, your Ebenezer's people. Um, please, Master Ebenezer's waiting for you in the den. I just gave him like a smack on the arm, like a lot harder than I should have. I'm like, oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> at, Thinking at that strength, they're friends. At least your strength isn't like insane, or else he'd be like, ah. <laughs> he just gives a worried look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank nice you. to see you. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna cry. <laughs> you guys are like giants. <laughs> That's true. Eight I'm, foot, seven foot. I'm seven foot tall and I'm short for my people. And I'm eight foot. I'm tall for my people. I'm five seven. <laughs> as you, as you make your way into the den, um, do you have Ebenezer's token? Let me check my inventory. I believe Maha had the token. 
I believe you are correct, but I'm going to check just in case. Sorry, I'm refreshing. But yeah, uh, he gave it One to moment. me. Yeah, if, um, if anyone has it, it is not me. Or, or oh, can we yeah. just get him out there? Is he just hanging? Oh, sorry. Your mic All right. out there for a sec. What was that? Oh, that if um, that if you know, he just he just hanging. So, if I could just go and get his little token, so that you guys can go see where he's at on the map. Sure, sure. So, how'd you all meet? I look at Wilbur. Like, he's, oh, you, you know, meet? just a uh, chance running. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing eventful. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good thing Lucy wasn't there. Oh. Well, yeah, is... you're not wrong. Are you friends with Ebenezer? Oh, no, I was talking about this guy, the, the guy that Putting I pat the... on the arm too hard. <laughs> I was yeah, talk I'm, talk I'm talking to him. Oh, okay. Are you still are you still harassing this poor man? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking for the token. So <laughs> well, you're looking for the token, yeah. Oh um oh yeah yeah no we met earlier today. Um, no important. He's fine. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Ma Maha is going to go look up at the um the den and just kind of like with his hat, you know, look up and look at everything and take it all in. And just kind it's, of keep um, walking and not really say goodbye because it's awkward. Yeah. As you, <laughs> you start to walk and you notice that the uh, pretty small. You know, it's a it's not a very big place. It's larger in the inside than it, than what it looks, but it's pretty pretty normal. It's a warmer looking place. If you guys want to go into the map, you can. Can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's some nice rug. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry, was inappropriate. Really? Sorry. <laughs> it took me. A, it took me a second, but. <laughs> Sorry, Archie, get back out here. Did we? Uh, did we find the beneath this token? Oh, you wanted me to find his token? Yes, I have his token. Yes, please. Sorry. If you'd be so kind. Um, oh, it's okay. D and D live stream NPC folder. That's why we were having that well, stupid conversation because I thought you were looking for his. Oh no! You, you, I'm I'm and for archers, I want you all to know as a DM, I know absolutely fuck all about anything technological. So if I didn't have these wonderful people here with me, <laughs> this you wouldn't have any maps, you would not have any tokens, and we would just be using the power of our imagination. Boom! <laughs> Let me turn off the grid. Because this is not the scale, anyways. All good. Turn off grid, save settings. I thought I turned the grid off, did I not? You might have to refresh, maybe? I might. Did you delete the grid? I don't think it's going to bother anybody. Okay. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. Yeah. When, as soon as you go and walk in, though, you will, you see that, uh, I gotta stop saying you see so damn often. It's not gonna bother me. You see that there's one of the toughs walk up to you. Allow me a moment, please. Kind of. He looks at Roy. Forgive me. I'm just gonna do a little bit of searching. You see me start to unbutton my shirt like no problem whatsoever. <laughs> he, Maha's eyes no, go up. Our eyebrows go up. No, 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 ma'am. And you hear beneath in. It's fine. Let them come in. Gentleman takes a step back. Please. Oh, Maha's looking at everything. Maha's looking like, whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the den. It's nice to have you. Please, take a seat by the fire with me. The literal den. Very cool. I'm going to take, <laughs> take that seat, because why not? Oh, yeah, grid is active, uh, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you press down Good alt. Huh? Maha's going to sit by the fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, and Wilbur's gonna curl up on the rug like a dog. There we go. Oh my god, yes. 
Sorry, Archie. Oh. Ebony's in. I got her name. Uh, I'll forgive uh, Ebony's will look down at Archie. Oh, interesting. Mm. I made a mistake. So, artistic. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's business for people like you everywhere now. The world's changing. Things aren't the way that they used to be. Before, you just need a little bit of knife work and you could change the world. Now, now you need magic. You need traps. Ah, oh, I miss the old days. Ooh. So, are artificers common here? They're becoming common. They're coming out of Ilazul, the Drow city. They're, um... Whatever is going on over there, they've been trying to go and pump up their technology for the past few years. It's a, it's a thing. Ooh. Please, drink. Yeah. And you see that one of the rogues will come up to you. Green green robe. They. You also notice that they're all elves. Every single one of these people here are, are elves. Are elves not common in this region, or...? No, they they are, but with your passive perceptions, you notice every single one is an elf. Do we know what kind of elf they are? I was just about are to ask. Like... You can roll for an investigate real quick. Yeah, it's just like oh, that's Wilbur, the same thing. Wilbur can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Will do. Mm -hmm. And that is a 16. My elves, actually. Hi, elves. Every single one of them. Huh. Ooh. Oh, Maha's very impressed. <laughs> uh, Maha is going to ask them for a festive drink. <laughs> uh, the rogue will look at Maha for a moment and then look at Ebenezer. Uh, we have... What do, you, uh, what do you like to drink in the rain and Windsor at this time of year? <laughs> That's the stomach. Beer. I drink beer. <laughs> would, would you like oh, one? I will take one beer. <laughs> beer for everyone? Beer for everyone? Oh, I'll one take some mulled wine, please. Eyebrow. Because at this point I know, don't I? Yeah. Eyebrow. It's mulled wine! It's better than beer! I'll Just take sorry. some milk and honey. Jeez, crackers. <laughs> you see the rogue one nod and he walks himself off. The long robe is kind of skittering off. Be back in a moment. Oh. Ebenezer just leans in. So. Mm. You have lots of elf friends, Maha will say. I do. I do. I wouldn't call them friends, but I definitely have associates. Oh, I see. Speaking of associates, uh, yeah. what by chance are two of the Gord family children? Hi. Hello, Roy. How are you? Hi, good. Yeah, I kind of squint. Did you come to one of our birthdays or solstice parties? <laughs> I I have not, but I have been invited. I oh, know your father. Yeah, daddy's friends. Okay. Oh, no, no. Mm. How could we never heard of you? Oh, got it. <laughs> Maha just watches. Yeah, and like, at that, you know, Wilbur just kind of has a moment like, uh, did did something happen between you and and dad or? It's not. It's not important. Obviously, I'm he not did because he never came to a solstice party. I. He picks up his hands. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. But what I will go and say is, I have no ill will towards your father. We just don't do business anymore. Oh, your decision it's or okay. his decision? Mutual. Huh. He points to his eye. His eye, the, the dead the eye. Dead eye. Oh. 
Maha it's just okay. looks, looks at him. That's mm -hmm. really good because it was about to get really super awkward here. No, 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 no. <laughs> business is business. Oh, uh, you said there were uh, artificers from El Azul. I have not seen any since I've been here, but knowing the drow, they don't like to be seen if they don't want to be. Oh Where? no! <laughs> any uh, any of the any of the high class art participants are actually going over to the uh, the knot, or Windsor Castle. Oh, why? The duke, <laughs> the duke is an enterprising type. He's uh, interested in the new technologies of the world. I'm. Um, more of an mm. old school type guy myself. No school like the old school, but it yeah. is what it is. Yeah, we we have invitation to something tomorrow with uh, Duke Windsor. Hopefully, they'll have breakfast. Hmm. Maha doesn't really want to go talk to him, but no, I wouldn't worry too much. By the sounds of it, it might be about me. Uh, what does uh, Ebenezer know of Duke Windsor? Hmm. Are we talking business or what are we? Because I still have a few questions before you start asking. I'm just out of oh. curiosity. Maha, just curious. How Maha. about I ask something first and then you answer and we see how it goes? Okay. We're not here to kill you, if that, that just saying. <laughs> Oh. The the beer is handed out to everybody. The milk and honey is handed to you. Rory. Yeah. You see that he takes his beer to new understandings. Mm. Uh, new understandings. New understandings. <laughs> Don't we have to understand what we, we should be understanding from the past? Hmm? Something like that. Maha can do quid pro quid pro quo. <laughs> what quid quo quo? Aww, <laughs> can't say words. Maha. <laughs> Rory, do me a favor and roll for me. Don't worry about what you got to add. Just roll. Got it. Let me get my D and D beyond up. One D twenty. Just roll. 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 Maha's gonna smell it. Eleven. Just to get the scent. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's strong. It is not good. You can tell from now. It smells like stinky, stanky beer. It's beer. And it's not milk even and when honey. No, uh, your, yours is milk and Maha honey. Oh. That's what Maha got. Oh gosh. Maha got some cheap ass swill, and that's pretty. And you see the Ebenezer takes a big hit of it too. Just oof. Maha tries to mimic him. Oh lordy. Oh, do me a favor, roll a constitution save out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine drunk Maha? Gosh, I've already been drugged. Oh man. I rolled a seven. <laughs> Maha Maha's a brave little veteran. They take that good hit kinda of looking at Ebenezer. Maha, you see it there like beer's not too bad. Beer beer's pretty good. I could I could have me a beer too. I, I like press the phone. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Good. Maha's a real man. <laughs> Ebenezer will look and just nod. You're missing some people. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, I want to believe you when you tell me that you're not here to kill me. But you're here with... You cut out. You're here with a very dangerous number. Oh. A number that your father contracted to oh. get an item from me a long time ago. What item was that? It doesn't matter. What matters is that they took not just the item, they took my eye. Was it so, number one that took your eye? Nah. nah. Ebenezer, stop. I'm asking for I ask a question. No, and no, you no, answer. no. Eric is not a number. Eric is family, so you don't get to touch him. How does that work? How do you keep 
a group of rampaging lunatics from doing what they do. He's oh. not one of them. And Did I, as, that, as that, he kind of puts his hand up, like you know, like chill, mm-hmm. that, chill out. Um, if you don't mind me mm-hmm. asking a bit of a rhetorical question, what do you know about brains? They're a lot like machines. Say, you go rooting around and take some stuff out. He's not in contact with uh, the big his big boss anymore. Uh huh. Well, he yes. Not, he's not wearing the bracelet anymore. You mean he's no longer in contact with one? No. Yes, that's exactly it. He, what my heart said. <laughs> <laughs> or prime. Roll. Who? At, you at do that not. Wilbur looks honestly got surprised at that one. You you haven't heard of Prime. That's the one. Prime is uh, we don't know much about him. Her, them. Mahas is like oh. They're, <laughs> they're beyond numbers. They're even in charge of number one. How'd you find this out? But I said, answer for answer. Your father took an amulet from me. Something that I stole on fair and square from a long, long time ago from a temple. Mm. We had made a wager. I lost. I didn't want to give the amulet to him. I was younger. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Your father asked nicely twice. I told him to go fuck himself. And then one day I woke up and the numbers were in my room. And uh, they took the amulet and they left me a reminder. No hard feelings. It is what it is. I deserved it. Eh. Uh, DM, yeah. would we know this amulet that he speaks of? Like, did our mother wear an amulet? Did we have an amulet in the house or anything? Roll. History? Or yeah, what? History. Okay. I'm going to roll it too because uh, you beat me to it by like a second. Nah, I don't remember anything. Nine. Oh, damn. That was a uh, nat 20, so 23. Nat 20. Ooh. You remember one year during the solstice, your mom got this beautiful amulet that she hated, that she absolutely despised, wore it twice, and then never wore it again. Yeah, I'm not mentioning that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> You also know that this was most likely during the time that she decided to take a step back away from everything. And if she had found out that he had gone that by ill gains, she wouldn't wear it. Oh, wow. But Did uh, we answer your question? But you still haven't answered all of your question. Who took your eye? Your friend. Eric? Mm-hmm. How is that possible? One has to attack first. Or he can give a command to attack. Oh. So he was so... under duress, is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, you look like really nice people. You really do. Uh... I have faith in the fact that I think that you are nice people. I'm going to tell you this. You have a very dangerous person that's with you. Very. Lucy's very dangerous. not going to hurt anybody. Uh, can I don't think I asked, about Lucy. <laughs> you, uh, Mr. Ebenezer said bygones, he made mistake, lost amulet, things square, really. Things are square. But if if it says anything, we did not bring Eric. Not because we think Eric will hurt you. We did not bring Eric because we thought you might hurt him. So, please understand, that is why we did not bring Eric. Eric is Eric now because Eric's not a number anymore. Yeah. Well said. Well he said, looks Mama. you up and down. And you feel those eyes go into the back of your soul. But he eases in his chair. 
Arcana, was he doing some kind of magical thing like that, or was it just like an intense, like, death glare? Insight. Insight. You don't even gotta vote. You've seen your father give that look. Gotcha. He's just trying to see if he's being bullshit. Does it look like he can see out of that eye? Nine. Which one? Like, if he's looking at me, does he have, like, an intelligence in that blind eye? Roll perception for me. I rolled uh, a 19 plus 5, so 24. No, that eye's gone. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. He just we nods. Answer, we answer your question? You did. You did. Mm -hmm. So? Uh, now what? Roy, you look like you're just about fit to burst. What are you thinking? Mm. I was just thinking about the zombie beholder. Oh, that, that that's not important. I was oh, thinking, it reminds you of Eyeball? Yeah, I was thinking if we could try the same thing again. Try what thing? Oh, what are you about? Rory can help. Rory has helped before with eyeballs. I you see, he picks up his hand. Miss Miss Rory, with all due respect, I wouldn't want a pregnant woman to stress herself. Please, it's all right. It's okay. If you didn't want me to stress myself, you would have given me a mulled wine. Jesus. <laughs> My eyes feeling pretty good. <laughs> you ever gotten drunk on shitty beer? It feels great. It's <laughs> not Maha, to, 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 to that, to that, uh, to that point, roll another constitution save for me as you continue to, uh, to drink your drink. I don't know why I have a constitution save. I don't know why this character set this way. I rolled a nine. Maha needs to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be right back. <laughs> I want to see what the elves are doing when Maha gets up, like, does a little potty dance and runs off. You you see that they start to maneuver around the tables, but nothing too fast. They and maneuver you make around it into the, the tables? Stuff. So just kind of watching, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, as you go into the room, uh, <laughs> and if you, if you zoom we up have, a little bit. I have bathrooms in here. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. It goes all out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, <laughs> you if you... If you what? Did you give up? If you can, there you go. Yes, that's the office. <laughs> so as you as you go up, um, Maha, real quick, as you're starting to kind of look, you notice that two of these stalls are actually out of order. Mm. Hmm. Maha's gonna look at everything as Maha has to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which uh, so you're just like going into each one, or how's what you doing? Uh, I'm 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 like taking in the rooms as I go through Maha's. Uh, yeah. Maha has no sense of personal space, so if there's any drawers or anything in here, Maha's looking through them. And then there's Maha's no drawers, <laughs> just little, just little out, little posts as you're going through it. Uh, do um, I look, I'm gonna look under the door. Is anyone in there? On each and every one of them, or just the one that you go in? Here? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Uh, Mama's right? gonna check before Maha opens up the doors. Thank goodness. So Mama checks all of them. Imagine you open it up. <laughs> you, um, on the on the bathroom on the far side. You actually don't see anything. Um, didn't see anybody in there. But the the third one, um, you'll notice that this, the door is kind of big, so you really can't. It looks like like the door is kind of messed up on the hinges, so you really can't see underneath that one. Ma's gonna knock. Anyone in there? Roll perception for me. <laughs> this is the best role play ever, by the way. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> you hear shuffling. Oh, like one person? Oh. You hear some movement. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, sorry. Maha goes to the one next door. <laughs> smart. Probably smart. <laughs> we don't know what Maha's gender is, but Maha uses the bathroom. <laughs> this is a gender-neutral uh, bathroom, baby. <laughs> Rory, Wilbur, what are your, your, perce your passive perception, what is it? Uh, passive perception, 15. Uh, Wilbur? Same, 15. Yeah, we're all 15. Wow. All right. Rory and Wilbur, you're actually going to see one of the elves start to make their way into the bathroom. 
I, I let it go. I know what that is. It's <laughs> just making sure everything's all right. I just assume he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, Wilbur has a theory about the elves, but he's going to talk about that later. Yeah. Well, I was going to see feet under the door. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did the little kid thing where you put your feet up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I have to ask, this is not a serious question at all. Is Maha wearing shoes or are you just wearing just a, like, paws. bare paws? Like your little foot paws. In my mind, Maha does not have shoes, but in the little picture he does. Okay. So mm-hmm. every time you mention the shoe, I just look at your bare feet. <laughs> oh. No, no Toby. Yeah, Maha has no shoes for someone that lived in one. <laughs> Maha, as you're peeing, you hear a, <laughs> like a little bit of a knock on that little wall there. Oh. oh. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Maha says very quietly. Yes. No response. Maha looks to see if the person's still there. Like, I'm sure I heard someone walk in. So I'm going to mm-hmm. look to see if they're still there. Oh, they look right at you. Oh, wait, are these one of these really short cubicles where, like, you could just poke your head up and see your neighbor? No, no, they're completely closed little rooms. But okay. you, when you see when Maha, as you look out, you just see the elf. You lost, friend. Oh, I drank lots of beer. Privacy, please. I'm not going to walk in the room with you. <laughs> Feel free to finish it up. Uh, I can't pee with someone in the room. It's a bathroom. <laughs> Failed your analysis. <laughs> oh, okay. Maha pees. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other response to that. <laughs> I'm making a note of that. That's a quotable. Are you, uh... This is so as, weird. Are you uh, just, like... So Maha is going to uh, uh, finish and just falls to the walls. Maha's just going to look under the stall, like in his own, in their own stall, and just look. Maha, as you put your head down like that, and you look underneath the stall, there's someone on the floor there. Oh my Hide god! On. Tied up with a, with what looks to be a leather bag over their head, and the neck tied up as well. They're tied up real good. Uh, Maha's going to pull out some water and start pouring it (laughs) into the toilet. Uh, so they don't have, they have something over their head? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... Maha's going to pour the water and, like, make it sound like they're peeing. Mm-hmm. And then pull the, the bag off of the, over the head. <laughs> as you're doing all that, and There's you pull the bag. Going on, like... <laughs> it's, as you're trying to do, like, the evil Knievel thing, and you pull the bag like that. Ebony's is looking right at you in the face. <laughs> He's got a rag in his mouth. And... His eyes are wide and full of fear. He's can't say much. You hear a knock on your door. Yes, hey. hello. Hello. You done? No. Mom I keep pouring it. Like fucking <laughs> out. <laughs> time to time to get out the bathroom. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh sorry. I'm trying to go faster. <laughs> Ma- Maha, uh, Maha looks at Ebenezer and, uh, is, like, totally, like, not sure what to do. So Maha finishes up, and as he's finishing, Maha's gonna be like, I'll be back! I think I think she's gonna have to go to the bathroom again! (laughs) As as soon as Maha stands himself up, that door slams open. You just see the elf standing there, tall, rapier at his side. You lost, friend. Oh, rude. Maha looks at him and 
is like trying to cover themselves and Maha is going to look really affronted by this sign of obviously invasion of privacy and what Maha a performance is so shake for me, Maha. <laughs> Maha is so freaked out but Maha is going to shove past him and go back to the room Roll a performance check for me before you go and you make that full little, little escape. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. I have performance. You can do it. Nineteen. <laughs> you walk right the fuck past him, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Maha is like back traumatized to... as he walks do you, the bathroom. Do you head back to uh, where they're at? Yes, Maha just leaves the guy behind and goes back. You see that Ebenezer and everyone else is just kind of talking to him. Ebenezer looks pretty relaxed now. You know, as you get older, things just kind of get different. The things that bothered you before just don't bother you as much anymore. Does that make any sense? <laughs> yes. When Maha Get comes her. back, are you acting normal, or are you acting like Maha, Does like, Maha trying that, to pretend that's, that's, that you're that's normal? Up to, that is up to Maha. Maha, how are you acting? Maha looks like someone tried to walk in on them while they were peeing. Fair. So and Maha's normal big eyes are like this Maha right now. Maha is Maha. Okay, nothing <laughs> seems different. We're good. <laughs> Maha, as Maha approaches, like, the firelight, Maha is trying not to look like make a scene as you guys are talking but Maha can't help it and looks right at Ebenezer and then at everybody else and tries to just sit down on the DL <laughs> and like hi beer is good sorry you see Ebenezer just take a look you alright? You look a little nervous. Oh, Maha's never drank that much before. That's, that's <laughs> Which is the truth, I'm not lying. I, I, I was gonna say, that's not deception. That, that's actually just a good way of wording it. <laughs> not just head. Well. Uh, did, uh... Oh, uh... Question. Uh... Mm. Do you remember, uh... Where we met earlier, that that pretty area we were in. We met in town. Yeah. Uh, do you remember that cool area though? Maha's trying to go back and see the scene scenery again later. I don't. Maha's trying to figure out if this is the same person and if he remembers they met on a bridge, or at least behind the church. <laughs> So Maha's like, do you remember where we met? <laughs> Can we incite Maha <laughs> to see if this is a very odd line of question, even for Maha? Rory, I'll let you have an insight. But with that, as as you roll your insight, and as you're doing that, you see Ebenezer look at you. Well, it's a big city, and I meet people all the time, I'll be honest. So I really couldn't go and tell you right off the top of my head. 15. But um, I can't justify rolling an insight, but I will say my passive insight is twelve. If if it's uh, that level of offense. Well, I rolled a fifteen, and my no. passive insight is an eighteen. Oh damn! Something is amiss with my. Oh. Home. Oh yeah. We so um. We met. Uh, I met our friends outside. You yeah, you said by the bell tower, right? I think. Uh. I don't remember. <laughs> Maha's just well, kind of like... I only, I only met Wilbur and, and Maha. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And Wilbur knows this. We were not next to the Temple of the Wild Mother. We were next to a different church. Mm -hmm. And Maha's going to say, yeah, we were by the Temple of the Wild Mother. It was very pretty there. That's where it was. Yeah, you mentioned that. All these fucking churches look alike to me. It doesn't matter. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. That, I was... that will roll, roll insight. <laughs> yeah, I was Go actually it. thinking about going to the service there tomorrow. Uh, uh, I mean, you're welcome to. Oh, 
I've well, heard that, 21. that dwarf is really like, she seems like a tough <laughs> cookie, right? As you roll that 21, you see Ebenezer shifting just a little bit in his seat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something's off. Something's off. Uh, so, uh... You know, but besides from that, I actually do have some other questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. You went to go see St. Montgomery. Oh, yeah. Uh, St. Montgomery had lots of peaches. She loves peaches. Did you know that? <laughs> I, I, I did not. I'll be honest with you. Well, I didn't. I but well, that's the interesting fact I about Montgomery. Know, Dragon, I did not terror. know Dragonborns really like peaches. The character is going to roll a performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah! Lots of peaches! <laughs> you see, Ebony's are kind of looking at everybody. You lot alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Roy, with your passive perception and Wilbur, you notice that the elves are starting to move a little bit closer to the couches. Hands. I got arms. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Oh shit! I think Wilbur. Oh, oh shit! Well, it's too early for that shit. Be Fuck you! Oh, exactly. No, we're taking you now. <laughs> no! He has to be born on solstice. Uh, it's perfectly fine. I have medics here. Relax. Oh. I'm going to get someone for you. What was in that milk? <gasps> Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop. vomit. Oh, it's Rory he seems okay? <laughs> And he looks at you. Mm -hmm. Poison. Poison was in that mill. Oh. Wild shape. <laughs> Before you wild shape, you see the image of Ebenezer crack for a second. And you see the void. Whoa. I, I found you. Oh. Uh, as the void switches, you notice Ebenezer is not Ebenezer. He snaps completely. And Rory, you would know what this thing is. It's a very large double ganger in some very exquisite elven chain. A rapier by its side and a short sword in its other hand as it jumps onto the couch and gives you a bow. I I'm up. so sorry. I know that we weren't supposed to go meet this way, but I am lucky number seven. It's a pleasure. Oh, before you start to scream and before we have an issue, I would like us all to just take a moment and think about your situation. How are you talking I'm with no mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I was warned about this, so I'm just going to act as though you weren't speaking. <laughs> and I'm just going to add on. I would like you to lower down your weapons, and Maha, if you move oh so but an inch, one of these gentlemen are going to murder you outright. So please, take a moment to think. But there's no mouth. Launch out. There's no mouth. So what is this we're looking at? Hmm. A doppelganger. I'll post a link of the image. It, it kind of looks like a Roswell Gray. It is so yeah. creepy. Oh my gosh. Oh man. So we're surrounded by elves with a doppelganger with a... So it's not a tabaxi though. It is not. Oh. oh does it look like it's... Uh, does it look like the usual numbers with like any parts or anything? Oh, that's creepy. You would have to roll a past perception, but you won't get a chance because you'll be rolling initiative in just a second. Oh, before dang. that before that happens. I do have to use the bathroom. Like for real. <laughs> I do too. So meta. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been holding it once Maha said they had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, that is such I a good it. idea. <laughs> you wanna you wanna just sign yeah. out for a minute? Oh we won't sign out, we'll just go to this drop screen. Oh, okay. With okay, Daniel's okay. permission. That's that's really what I meant, but you know. You know the Twitch things I do. Daniel, would you like yeah, to... Yeah, we're there for a second. I think I'm, I'm getting like a loop. Okay. Oh, While so... you're doing that, 
Hey everybody, we are going to take a five minute break. Get yourself a drink of water, go to the bathroom, get yourself some popcorn or whatever you want. We will be right back. And wash your hands. Wash your hands, peeps. We'll be right back. They can still hear us, but we are paused. Now I gotta go pee. <laughs> Johnny, you're up in you're up in just a few minutes. Once we go in and come back in. Ooh. Let me remove my daughter from this room. Once <laughs> <laughs> gets back, I'm gonna head down to the What there? So for all of you, it's nice to see you. I don't really get times to be alone with all of you, so this is always nice. I hope that the pandemic is treating you well. Uh! I'm getting like a weird, like a weird loop thing. Do you hear that? I don't, I might be on your end. Uh, once Sam gets back, I'll... Actually, I'm gonna go find her, I'll see if she can figure it out. Sure. Into the unknown! Can I get to the mic? You could put it inside of you. <laughs> Can I just do ASMR? All right, everyone. Well, what we're going to be doing today is talking about politics. No, that's uh, the opposite of ASMR. <laughs> very, very simple subject. Very simple. Oh, we should also talk about religion. Yes. And we might as well talk about drugs, too, while we're at it. Get all oh, the yeah. big hitters. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. It's cold. Leo's freezing, and I just got a cold beer. Yeah. So you can be even colder. I've, have you guys had this beer? No. Is it keto? Um, I don't think I don't think it is. I don't know. What is keto beer like? It's just really low carbs. Yeah. <gasps> it's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I actually, it doesn't, I haven't found it in Alabama this oh, year, wow. or last year. Um, I found it in Florida. It's one of my favorites. It's a New Belgium. Mmm. Very fancy. Cumulation. It's very nice. Uh, if you would like to sponsor me, New Belgium, I will drink your beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That went it, well. I think we did that very quietly and did not give ourselves away at all. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me see if I'm able to get myself back. If my camera decides to not be a bitchy bitch. Yeah, friend said you were having some uh, issues going on. What's going on? I was getting some weird. I, it was literally, it would double take everything. 
I heard every I heard what everyone was saying twice, oh. and then it really was freaking me out. I was just like, "Well, I haven't had any drugs today." Do you have Twitch <laughs> open? Say again. Do you have Twitch open? I do. Do I, uh, not on the computer though. Oh, okay. That's weird. I, exactly. That's why they, I thought it was so odd. Well, the Yossi fans are everywhere. No, Antiphon is actually, uh... She was, she was another artist who did some stuff for me. Oh, that's awesome. While I was streaming. Yeah, she's in my Discord as Gazelle. Oh, oh cool. La, 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 yeah, she's la, la, super la, la, cool. La. You would love her, Leo. Yeah, I, I'm always... Uh, and she's... For artist friends. She's so timid. <laughs> it's well, adorable. I'm sure a timid. I always tend to be that person that makes timid people meet extroverted people. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. My camera is being stinky, but I don't stinky. understand. Stinky, but stinky, but. Oh. Why are you doing that? I'll have to see some of your art, Gazelle. I don't I know. Can they hear us? Oh, absolutely, they can. Yeah, we're on just the. Uh, oh. I might need to. Just like a wait. Hear us. I might need to do what uh, what Maha's okay. doing and use my telephone up because <laughs> the camera is being stupid. That is yeah. Uh, to 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 you, Gazelle. Um, uh, high fructose corn syrup, or Leo. She's the one that did the yeah. artwork. Not not the original original artwork where I just haphazardly drew an egg, it, put a D on it, and called it a logo. I don't yeah, know if that's that still the reference exists. you sent me. You're like, here's mine. Make something. Here's, <laughs> here's, here's my absolute trash. Make it beautiful. <laughs> I'm, that was the first thing I ever uh, painted on my Procreate, uh, on my iPad. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, she says you're amazing. Oh, Because we'll have to we'll have to meet sometime. Why I'm is my the, camera I'm on not Discord, working? So. I don't understand. Yeah, she is, she is on the OC board now. Mm hmm Hmm. We could. I don't. Day we should, I don't like, think it was the. <laughs> It certainly wasn't the first thing she ever draw, like, drew, but it was uh, the first thing on her Procreate. Pro Wait. No. Yeah, uh, on iPad. The Procreate iPad. program. Yeah, <laughs> she procreated for my I logo. She procreated. That was my first child. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, I was, I was pretty happy. I don't know. Uh, Michael yeah. gave me crap because he thought the colors were really crazy, and I was like, no, that's the colors he wanted. <laughs> yeah. Gazelle, if you remind me where you're from, I forget. Aren't you... you're in Europe? Ooh. I can't remember. Saudi Arabia, that's right. Oh, Ooh. oh wow. Man, I bet the time zone's crazy up there right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, where we are, it's 9.27 at night. What time is it in Saudi yeah. Arabia? 5 a.m.? 5 a.m.? Oh, oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> Are you yeah. like just ah. waking up an hour ago, or are you still up for the night? Oh boy, all nighter. Pulling it all night. Ooh, yes, me too. Oh, man. Thanks for, I've got finals for coming up. up. <laughs> Thank you for staying up with us. I feel your pain. Oh yeah, you got finals coming yeah. up. Hey, we've got your video. Yay! All right, all right everybody. So, are we good to go? Ooh. Um, I'm hearing uh, a, lot of, a lot of noises. I like background. Oh, that. But Johnny's, Johnny, uh, Johnny's dealing with. Oh. So, with that being said, 
I would like the three of you to roll initiative. Oh, yes. let me actually transition us back to... Okay, I'm gonna write down the initiative you guys tell me what it is. Okay. Alright, sorry. Welcome back. Yeah, we're... Initiative. I know you're right. right. Oh, you gotta open your camera, Fran. Oh, right. Initiative is a plus Whee! two. Oh, a natural <laughs> one, so three. There's Yay! Wonderful. Yes. Mine was a six! Wilbur, six, okay. I got a higher number than that. We'll see. Uh, I got roll? 15. Not yet, John. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna post the initiative also in the uh, Twitch. Nice. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, sorry. I didn't have enough time to mute my mic. Oh, I should probably flip the numbers, but... It's... It's okay. <laughs> Watches like to hear about the functions. I it's alright. We do have a Discord. I'm gonna get the link right now for her. It's very small right now. We're, we, we talk to ourselves on there. It's pretty Mostly. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Not each other, but ourselves. And, and keeping in mind, we aren't actually going live live until the 1st of January, so... Yeah, still think they're kind of in process. Yeah, this was actually our test runs that we've been doing, just to make sure everything is... And then we were just like, well, absolutely, please do join! And post yeah. many memes, mm -hmm. and be... Yes, we're all on there. Feel free to send me sexy pictures. I always love sexy pictures. <laughs> if you're of age, if you're not of age, don't send me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Our DM is very, very sexy. Oh, yeah. As you can see. Especially <laughs> when he drinks, he t turns up that charm. Well, at least Maha rolled a 15, which is bad because I'm a sorcerer. You guys? <laughs> That's okay. So, We're good. We're good. Here's, here's, the good news, here's the bad news. Good news is, all the bad guys are going first. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh. <laughs> all the good news. You got it backwards. Shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, uh, oh, boy. All right, everybody. So. Thank God for reaction spells. Right? As you. As you. What's you going to kind of jump up and you realize. Oh, no. That's not Ebony, sir. Uh -huh. You see this creature move lightning fast. And when I say lightning fast, it's mind boggling how quickly he goes and he moves. And as he does, he actually jumps off the couch, makes his way around this row, gets over to where Maha's at, and extends his rapier. As he does, and it flicks just close to the ear, Rory, you see black energy course through that rapier for just a second, and you smell death as it gets just a little bit closer. Don't let it touch you, Maha. You see, this is the difference between myself and number one and everyone else. I'd like to make sure that my enemies stay dead. Now, this rapier of wounding will hurt Maha immensely. I would like that to not happen. As a matter of fact, this doesn't even have to happen this way now. I have questions, and you will answer with truth, or I'll just start taking pieces with me, which is fine either way, really, I don't particularly mind. But my thing is, why would you lot go to find Montgomery, and how exactly have you been avoiding one? Things have gotten strange. Our communication with him has been odd and misplaced. And I think that you can fill in the dots. So, please, help me. Is this... What is one up to? I'm sorry, are we speaking to Prime? Mm-mm. You're speaking to... Seven. Number seven. 
Well, oh. lucky number seven. Lucky us. Yes. So Maha is, we're really, the guy's really close to me now, right? He's very close. He's he's right by your side. Rapier, right by the ear. You can hear it sizzling as it starts to get close. You smell that death on that thing. Okay. So. Hmm. Let's let's help each other. We both don't like one. I know that. Mm-hmm. So. How are we going to fix that? Hmm. Maha's going to look at uh, this number, Lucky 7, and look at him and say, Enemy of enemy is friend? What you're saying? Hmm. I wouldn't call us friends. I'm not Vaughn, you see. I have no intention to be your friend. I know that he's able to help you to escape and all those other things. You see, I watch, and I wait, and I watch, and I wait. I'm patient. But I do want you to know that if I don't have information soon, there's a small little group of decimals right outside the city, waiting, plotting. Mm. So, Maha thinks this is a this? bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> but... The cards are stacked in my favor. That's true. I'll be <laughs> honest. I've cheated a little bit. I'm sorry. But you can't win a game unless you cheat. How did you mm. know all of this about us? Oh, that's my business. So, no more bullshit. Why did you go to Montgomery? Hmm. Why does one go to a map maker? You see that... He he flicks Maha's ear real quick. Maha, what's your armor class? I have 17 armor class. Yeah, you do. Because <laughs> I have made armor. <laughs> you actually, as you, you see Maha do like a quick little dodge to it, then, <laughs> and he misses the ear. <laughs> it's just a head. Ow. <laughs> All the, like, little hairs on my ears are like, ow. You see them kind of, like, when you see them hit, you see the hairs shrivel up and die. If you're gonna mm. threaten anyone, you got the wrong thing. Shouldn't you be threatening a pregnant woman? I have no intent on killing children today. Well, then leave That's Maha alone. Thing. You put your blade towards me. Maha, thinks Maha's not a child, Rory. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this one more time. Don't mess with my patience. Don't mess with my family. <laughs> put your blade on me. Maha's gonna raise I'm... Maha's hand and be like, I think if being alive is important to us and mm. number one, maybe dead is important to you. You become How is number one doing six. What doing? Mm. How exactly did one, oh no. No, no. No, no, no. But that's a story for another time. So, mm. how exactly is one able to blink out from the hive mind? I'm mm. curious. Mm. That's not normal? Mm. Mm. Well, it could be because of the thing, you know? I look over at Wilbur and Maha like, Pointing to my chest. <laughs> One sec, players taking note. What thing? The thing. You know. I kind of like... Sorry, oh. my hand's getting tired. Don't make me ram this rapier into this poor animal's head. I don't know what it's called. It's a stone. Yes. We were talking to Montgomery... Because Montgomery seemed very knowledgeable of many things, Maha pipes up. Oh, and Maha, it, Maha's trying to go along with Rory, but also give uh, number seven something. It was from the... I realize what you're doing. 
I'm pretty <laughs> sure I would. The lich is, <laughs> I believe that the lich had something. It was a jewel. What we were supposed to steal? Did you one see, tell you anything? Evan's eyes go wide for a moment. Oh. I see. I see. How yes. strange and interesting that is. Oh, yes. You notice that his voice goes into different voices from time to time. The accent changes. As if though there's various things going on in this poor man's head. Oh, I'm beginning to understand so much better now. Can we just sit mm -hmm. down and talk? We'll tell you what you want, just don't hurt my heart. You have three of your associates not too far from here. My men are already trained on that area. Mama! Don't worry. It won't go far. No, we'll just sit down. You don't hurt anyone. We'll tell you what you want to know. M Maha has something, but only if... Only if we can talk. Roll... Roll persuasion with disadvantage. I would like to call upon the powers of the clockwork. Yes! I'm so glad Roll you have this. With, uh, with normal rolling, damn it. Just uh, go for it. <laughs> Alright, I'm using these suck. Well, I actually cleared those out. Okay. Uh, restore way, balance. I, I just want to say. I've used three of those so far since our, my last rest, apparently. Um, okay, so persuasion. Hmm? Plus seven. Here we go. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You see seven. He gives a little smile. No. On that note, Johnny. You've been making your way into the forest. You know Windsor, you've been to Windsor before. The people there are nice. Really don't bother much. Things usually are quiet at this time of night. You're doing your thing, as you spoke about before, that you wanted to go and take care of some things before you arrive. Now, as you are going through the forest, are you traveling the main roads? What are you doing? Oh, is he asking us what we're doing? No, no, I'm asking Johnny. Oh, okay, you. I was like, I thought he was talking to Johnny. I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Johnny, <laughs> as you're making your way to Windsor, it's starting to get a little bit dark in the night, but you're close. It's not too far from where you were. Are you taking the main road? Do you going through the forest? How do you get there? Probably going to stick to the main roads if I can help it. And then uh, you know the plan from there. As you uh, start to go make it to the main roads, you'll actually make the right route to the gate. And in the gate, you'll actually see that there's Quite a large group of guards there. Quite a large group of guards. About eight. All black robed, black armor. Do I recognize the armor type or. Roll perception from your Any room. symbols? Give me, give me that sweet, sweet perception. Uh, so is this on the map by the horse lady, out of curiosity? Yes, it would be by the horse lady. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that their armor is plate. It's completely black. And they have face coverings. A metal sheet that covers with just two slits. Her eyes. And as you look a little bit... You see them all, for a moment, turn in unison. And you see one of them walk up close. City is closed. We will reopen in the morning. 
Oh, but I apologize. Uh, what's the closure for? You don't mind me asking. Criminal element in this area. We are doing a sweep from house to house. Oh, I see. Uh, is there any way I can help in the investigation, if you don't mind? I am very good at uh, finding coolness. You see all kinds of stuff and look at each other again. It would be appreciated if you took a few steps back and come in the morning. Oh, but of course. Far be it from me to try and get past the lot of you. Do enjoy your night, gentlemen. They all nod in unison. That's not creepy at all. Have a good night, sir. You as well. Are they all talking in unison or just one? Just one. Uh, as as they walk away, or when they do, do I notice they all march in unison? Oh, you see it. You with your perception, with your past perception, mm. there's something very odd about what the hell just happened. Gotcha. If these are guards for this city, you've never seen any guards like this before. Okay, then I will. Uh... I will look around for another way to the city. Make a roll for me. Give me, some, give me some of that investigation. Okay. And You might be able to make it over by one of the main walls, but you're going to have to do a little bit of looking. Gotcha. Okay, then uh, that is what I will do. I will go in search of an opening. You actually don't have to roll for that, because you rolled two rolls for me before that, when we first started. And I'm going to go and mm -hmm. take that first roll of 18, and as you begin to take a look around and as you're doing your thing, you notice there's a group of people by the wall. There's some close figures, about four of them. There's one that seems to be quite tall, completely cloaked. And one not so tall, standing next to him. I haven't noticed it yet. Okay. I would probably just observe them for a moment or two. See what they're up trying, to. Trying to hear what they're saying or just doing the looky look? Kind of, I, I guess a mixture of both. Maybe even just like listen in. Cool. Roll uh, some more of that investigate for me. Nat 20. Ooh. Okay. Are you doing the self play or just said? <laughs> uh, at this point, I just want to know everything they got going on in that group. Are you? Are you? Are you so you just like walking up, or how are you doing it? Um, just like kind of hiding ish. Like, like not, not trying to be too stealthy, but like as if I'm just on a walk in the woods, at a distance, but I can hear. Okay. I'll let you roll on with that nat twenty as you're kind of doing your thing. I will make you roll again for it. You hear what sounds like metal scraping and metal, as much larger cloaked figure turns to the shorter one. Why are we waiting? We should not be waiting. How long will it take for him to get what he needs? You see the shark won't just pick up his hand. 
Silence. Just be quiet, right? I'm trying to think, please. You hear him shuffle a little bit. We can just take the whole city, burn it to the ground. No survivors, no witnesses. It won't matter. You just keep the shorter one turn. Really? That's your plan? To just completely massacre a whole city of a thousand people? He turns to, and you see the larger one turn. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I spoke out of place. <laughs> mm. He did plan. You have to say to your shrimps in silence. The both of us, yes? <laughs> I find your voice grating. It just stands a little bit. See the shorter one kind of stand there with the toy. <laughs> you notice that the one, the shorter one is a Blackford Spaxi. Oh. He has an eye patch covering <gasps> one of his eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And the larger one next to him, you don't see much of his face, but you see the metal that shines from it. His whole lower jaw seems to be made out of plate now. It's not pleasant. You can't see much of it, even with that 20, because of how he's standing. But sure. he's very large. He's a very, very large boy. And you see four of those black-faced creatures just walking around in circles around them. You just stick around and do a little bit more listen. Do they notice me at all from my distance? Not that you can tell. At least not yet. I would uh, purposely crack a loud stick. Like with my foot, like walking. So that I can uh, see if they notice that I'm there. Uh, Roll a, I would uh, then. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, I would then, uh, if if possible, catch a leaf falling from around me, and I would just, uh, without looking at them, as if I hadn't just heard the conversation about burning the city to the ground, uh, simply say, oh, "Would you look at that?" The leaves, they fall. They don't wait for their service to be needed. They simply fall to the ground and replace the dirt beneath them. Ah, uh, it must be nice not having to wait for your life to begin. And just crumple the leaf, let it fall to the ground, be on my way. As you crumble... You notice the four small, smaller figures turning unison towards you. And the smaller person turn, and you see what looks to be green light coming from their eye slits, and green light coming from the smaller oh, ones. Oh, shit. We seem to have company. Poet, please, don't leave just yet. Tell me, friend. What's your name? Oh, I apologize. I have no reason to leave. But, uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am <laughs> Johnny. But my friends, they call me Johnny. Uh, what would your band of gentlemen be called? You see all four of the creatures stand. And the small one look at you. And they all say in unison, we are legion. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. What a beautiful tone. Is there an alto there? <laughs> Is there an alto? <laughs> oh, keep this up, we're putting you in pun jail. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Please keep it up. I love them. <laughs> you just hear, you just hear one of them laugh. Funny. 
so. I think, for your sake, you continue on your way, and you have a good evening. This creature besides me doesn't like to be watched. And now you see as it turns, you see this monstrosity of a tabaxi. About seven feet tall, muscular, large, in the shape of what would have been a lion if it still had all of its features. All of its bottom of its jaw made out of clockwork, steel, wooden pieces in and out. It looks as if though someone did not take much care when he was given these things. And as it turns, you just hear the... Yes. How eloquent, Clyde, as always. Have a good night. You too. Uh, I must say, I, I, if you don't mind, uh, just witnessing the beauty of one of the, you know, creatures closest to the gods of where I'm from, anyways. I truly appreciate him. Or her. I don't judge. But, do take care. Uh, harness your power and all that. Make sure that you seize the day and take care. Not to lose your mouth. You see five turn to one. Let me kill this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. As it turns, you see Flan take its step, and as it does, you see the ground kind of cave in a little bit as it begins to move forward. Johnny, roll a perception check for me real quick. Okay, ten. You don't hear it, but you see Flan's eyes go wide, and as the decimals jump out, one goes this way, one goes the other way, and one stops. The trees burst out, and as the trees burst out, you see now, as it begins to get just a little bit closer. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me go and show you in the general text, and you guys can go and show all of our friends. Ooh, do not forget I have ten feet of blind sight. Ooh, good stuff. <laughs> I did forget about that. Thank you for reminding me. Because I totally did forget about that. Give me one second. You see this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to link this. Ooh, this I like sounds it. cool. I like it a lot. Ooh. And now you hear it. <laughs> Johnny, roll initiative for me, please. Ah, shit. It begins. Yeah, fancy drink. Oh, I think that he's uh, he's doing anything. So, guys. All right. As Johnny about to go do that. Sorry, I just took a block. sip of maybe Mountain Dew, maybe Seven Up. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's yellow. Mm. Tastes like if, um, caffeine. Maybe, maybe <laughs> someone peed in a cup. I don't know. <laughs> As you see this lobster-like creature. And you now see it fully, and it's as the light goes and captures onto it. This crab like thing with the brain on its back begins to move forward. Now, you go. All right. Okay, so it's back to us. Yep, and I'll be with you this moment, Jenna. So. No, no, you're good. Back to number seven. Could, uh, could you switch us our map? Oh, are you switching the map? Are we still on Johnny, or are we going back to us? We're back on us. No, it's back on you guys. We're going back to you. Okay. Johnny's oh, dancing. Sorry. Okay. This is what Johnny sees as he turns. That very unfortunate looking nasty nasty. Okay. So, Ma Maha is taking these threats very seriously and Maha nods and goes 
Yes. You you caught us. We admitted to doing some things to Eric, number two, and we saw some things that we had to go talk to Montgomery about. On that subject, you hear its voice switching up again. I have some questions. How did you free to? How did you do that? How how did you get Prime out of his head? How eloquent! Oh, it was not uh, eloquent. Very messy. It was very messy. Uh, almost died a few times, but we saw. Um, maybe you call essence inside of number two? Don't mention its name. Okay. I know what you speak of. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Wilbur and I and Rory did a surgery on Eric and when we pulled out con- a controller, which was very difficult, uh, we heard you know who speak yeah. to us. <laughs> well, I was trying to like not break the rules. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. Maha's gonna look over at the elves in the room. And like Maha is going to raise both their hand, both of the, their hands, and Maha is going to reach inside their cloak and pull out. Yeah, Wilbur's kind of leaning back in the chair. <laughs> and Maha, Maha's I, I worry, pull- you know what that means. <laughs> Easy. Ma- Maha's Easy. going real slow. And trying to be very obvious, and pulls out, shows it, and the elven map from Montgomery that has the seal, it's broken, and then very slowly lay it out, or like give it to his doppelganger. Did we? But it's put, all, did we put so that, both hmm? the maps in there, or do we leave one of the maps in the room? Um, Maha separated them, but Maha's not pulling out. Maha's just pulling out the elven one. Fuck yeah, you are, Maha. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, Seven just not. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, it extends your- his hand out. Maha is going to give it to him. Well, what, whatever your your friend, your voice, told <laughs> us. I was trying not to break rules. Told us on accident. I think what it wanted. So Maha goes quiet. We were trying to get to it first and needed a map. Hmm. You notice now pretext seems to fall away. Mm-hmm. I begin to understand. Mm-hmm. I see. I see. Maha's going to look at the elves and look at you like very fur to or look at number seven very furtively. You said that the uh the drow are coming from Il Azul. I do not know why, but that's where Prime was looking. And Maha's gonna gesture map to Il Azul. In his best deception, 
He takes out a small vial mm-hmm. from his pocket. Roll, uh, roll that deception for me. Okay. Isn't it a map to Azul? It is. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's just a map. But the biggest yeah. thing on there is going to be probably that. Uh, I rolled a twenty-one. No, keep. God damn. Ooh. He flicks the vials of Rory. I, 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 I catch it. Can I catch it? I'd like to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You'll want to drink that in the next in the next few moments. That's my gift. He takes the man, he pulls it up, he puts it in his pocket. Could I? Again. I, I open it, uncork it, sip it. Oh, tastes terrible. Can I buy something from you? Oh. I'd like to buy that poison from you that you poisoned me with. Number one knows I'm pregnant. I need poison. That would be important. You know if one takes your child. He won't kill you. I know. He'll let you turn. I know. And then he'll take it. I know. <laughs> That's why I want to buy the poison off of you. Huh. And Eric wants to get it from me. How very interesting all of you are. I thought that this was going to be a bloodbath. He takes another vial out of his pocket. Good luck. I catch it. <laughs> enemy of begins, enemy. He begins to take a step back. Luke. Have a good night. Let's talk again. You see the L starts to go and walk out. Oh, and by the way, Ebony's is alive. For now. You might want to go and cast some lesser restoration on him because the poison that I gave him is probably going to kill him in the next few minutes. Can do. That was going to be my last bargaining chip. Have a good night. I waved at him. (laughs) (laughs) Put his hand over his face and he looked like a very elegant elf. Long ears, beautiful pointy features. And now Johnny. Damn. Your initiative, please. Damn, son. I think I lost it. Um, he's Me! Back. I'm back! Sorry. Let me get that initiative, boy. I need it. Need that initiative right there. And if you go to the main map, Daniel, I have the guards there and I have the creature there for you. Can you shift click? Yes. Someone? There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's wow, so spooky. Away. Let me get some of that sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet initiative, please. I do the thing. Excellent. Maybe. Do the you do the thing very well. Do the thing. Do the thing. But not the other thing. You don't want to do the other thing. Not that thing. 19. Woo! Mm. Alright. <laughs> Johnny. You are first in the initiative roll against whatever the hell this thing is. Okay. Are the others there? Oh, they got the hell out of Dodge. Oh, they're just avoiding this thing. Yep. You can tell. That's not there. (laughs) I just noticed they left. (laughs) Uh, Pretty much. uh, Let me see this thing. How big is it? Large? Huge? It is. No, it, it is a large. Large? It seems to be a large construct. Yep. Hmm. Peculiar, aren't you? Uh. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. I use, uh, branding smite. And then I. <laughs> I stab at the. <laughs> Roll. Okay. What is that? 
That's a 19. 19 hits, just barely. Ooh. Uh, I will use a level 2 Divine Smite as well. Smart. Okay. Roll that damage for me. Okay. So... <laughs> so the Rapier with Divine Smite is 20. And... The Branding Smite is 7. So 27. Alright. You see as you go and you call upon your entity. Your power that be, you're going to be able to go and take a full out swing at this thing, and it hits the armor. And like I said, just barely. But you hear that oh. loud and that light that comes from the smack. It stumbles for a second, the many eyes on its arms blinking all at once. And it takes almost. Is that uh, the end of your opportunity of attack? Oh, no, no, that's more for flavor. It has a oh, okay, 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 okay. Your action done? Oh, so so it's trying to it's trying to leave. No. After that. No, no, it takes the hit, oh. but okay. it's it's waiting now. Very good. Uh, extra attack. Go for it. So, nat twenty. Jeez. All right, roll that damage. Uh, Is it dead? with level two divine smite, I'll add. So that's. How do you how do you do nat twenties for attack? Do you do double uh, double dexterity, double or do I just add the dexterity add the double dex? Okay, so no, 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 double, just dice. double dice and the normal pluses. Double, oh. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, oof. So that's that's two two d eight two d eight two d eight. Okay. And that hits for 28. Mm. Jeez. You see now, as you, as you take that second hit, a piece of one of the arms shatters off, and you notice some of the squishy squishy underneath. It just the sign. And it is now its attack. Ooh, do as, you hit, as, as you hit its arm, it actually begins to pull itself up, and you begin to see the underside of its carpus, and you notice that there's more eyes on the bottom. And as it does that, you hear it, and the eyes begin to glow. Okay. I would like you to make a dexterity save for me, please. Sure. Uh, plus four. Twelve. All right. As you do that, the rays shoot out all at once, forming into one large ray, and you are hit with radiant damage. Allow me just a moment. This is a breath weapon unleashes on you. Well, let's mm -hmm. call it a breath weapon, because there's really no other way. Yeah, hey, you're, you're good. Uh, 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 it's a high weapon. For 18 points of damage. Okay. It, is the Oh, okay. Was it was it 36 halved or did I pass or fail? No, you 18. failed. Okay. 18. Okay. 18. Yeah, just 18 straight. As as it hits you, I need you to go. You said that you have uh, blindsight, correct? Yes. So does that mean that you're not affected by blindness? True. Within 10 feet of it. Okay. So, with that, your eyes, for just a moment, it's so bright that you feel as though you've gone blind. It's just completely stopped. And as this extremely loud weapon goes off, all of you in the bar, will you please want to roll a perception check for me? Oh, shit. Perception. Uh, 23. Me too! Ooh. Ooh. Very perceptive. <laughs> what did you get, Wilbur? Oh, there you go. That is a 22. Hey. 
you all hear what seems to be one of the loudest noises that you've ever heard in the entirety of your damn life just a second ago. It sounded like a supersonic boom. For just, and it sounded like two, actually. First it was something else, and then there was another one going right underneath it. Okay. I'd like to roll insight to see if I think it's Lucy. Huh. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's a very Lucy thing to go and just wander off. You just off. blow something up. <laughs> yes. No one's sure how. There it is. Uh, insight plus eight. Twenty-six. <laughs> that's too big to be Lucy. Ah, Lucy must be sleeping. <laughs> oh more. man. You see, seven, seven escaped. He's no longer there. He walks out with his with his other group. Maha's gonna Jenny. drop everything and go run towards the bathroom. Same. <laughs> I just All right, as you're running to the bathroom, Johnny, let's roll something real quick. All right. Ooh. And while right. while y'all do that, I'm actually let me make sure I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Don't worry. Well, I'm gonna. I'm casting detect magic in myself, and I'm walking all over the fucking building. That's All fair. right. That one we'll come back to because that one's gonna give you some things and stuff, stuff and things. Now, as uh, as you do that, Johnny, it is now your turn. Awesome. So, uh, with my eyes now closed, uh, <clears throat> I see the eyes give you the power. Well then, I'll have fun tearing them from your body. Oh. <laughs> I stab specifically at one of the eyes, the closest I can remember. Sure, make that roll. Um, nineteen in numbers. Uh, twenty-five. Oh. Tw no, sure. twenty-seven. That as long as it's got to be a nineteen enough, you hit. Roll that. Got him. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I? What do I add to this one? Just one divine smite. How about that? Careful there. You gonna start running out? Okay. I know. Uh, fourteen. Okay. You see, as the rapier goes forward, it pierces into one of the eyes, mm. and as it does, you hear what you're almost certain had to have been supersonic. The scream it lets out makes the leaves fall off the trees. It makes the ground shake. It is awful. It is absolutely bone chilling all throughout. But it stumbles just for a second, but it continues in its stance. Hmm. All right, I'll have to be more specific, I suppose. This time I aim for a pupil. Roll for that attack. Are you doing a cold shot? Ah! Yes. What is it? What are cold hey, shots? Uh, hey, hey, Leo. What is that? Remember when, Clem remember when Clemento fought things? Yes. Nat 20. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's give her an the damage. Let's give her another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll the damage. Roll. That is that is twenty nine. All right. And you, this yeah. one was with another smite, correct? Yes. So. All right. I'm almost out. It does, but it I does still. You you unleash, and you go. You see that it goes to sound to the people. Another loud bang. Boom. The creature stands, but it is still strong. It hasn't faltered. It's hurt, but it ain't dead. All right, it is the creature's attack now. It's going to unleash completely on you and pull up multi attack. What is your AC? I believe that was still to be determined by us, but 
for well, now. I was going to say the chat the half played on, so what, what would your AC be with the half play? Okay, 19. Okay. You see the first claw attack misses at you. The second claw attack misses at you. It seems to be mild. It, it seems to have every desire in the world to go and hurt you now. As it starts to go and slam, and you see the first claw slam into the ground, rip open dirt, the other claw doing the same. You're nimble on your feet. Ooh, okay. It's a, so it's, here's, a, here's a little bit of that natural 20 juice for you. Do you see that, everybody? <laughs> okay, give me one second. <laughs> Okay. Now he rolls the net twenty. As it leans in, the mandibles open up and expand themselves, and you see the inside of its mouth looking like a buzz saw as it latches on to your neck and pulls out a chunk of flesh for twenty three points oh. of damage. When it pulls out, you see it, <laughs> and it consumes it, and it stops for a moment. Looks, kind of heals up, and you see the many eyes begin to look around. And as that happens, because I rolled to see when they would arrive, you hear a voice. Hey! Hey, fucker! Hey! Lucy! He? You see the creature turn. It's like, I think you need you need any help there. Is that friend of yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And he's, he's talking to me. Mm-hmm. Imagine he's With... talking to the creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With With eyes closed. I look in his general direction and go, Why, no, I was actually looking for a bit of chit-chat with my eye friend here. By all means, if you'd like to step into the conversation, I would appreciate it. That's so you great. see him stop for a second, he looks around. Is he asking for help, or what the fuck is he asking for? I don't understand. <laughs> That's exactly what Lucy would do. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, as it goes up, you actually see this very large human begin to run forward. And as he does, uh, you notice something. He's, um, he's naked. <laughs> he's 100% absolutely butt-ass naked. 100% wait, pure man. Wait, I see is. this person? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's running at this thing. Oh, oh I see running. nothing. Oh, that's right. You see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but you hear it. You hear it. All right. Oh, I I you hear meat just... slapping in the wind. Yes. <laughs> but you hear a hit, and as you hear the hit, you hear. And as you hear skittering, and as it runs off, you start to hear get, get you ugly fucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so him. And You're you perfect. see, you actually feel hands start to touch your face. Easy, friend. Easy. Allow me. Just oh. For me, okay? It's all right. It's all right. Just give me I... just a moment. <laughs> and you feel magic begin to course through your eyes. And all of a sudden, the paleness, the, that complete white, becomes clear again. And you see an older-looking gentleman. Well built. Nice groom cut beard. He's got a big old smile and he's as he's touching your eyes like that and he pulls away. My name is Ronan. It's a pleasure. Well, don't mind me, but the pleasure is all mine. I may be a uh, one in the way of revelry, but uh <clears throat> You seem to be quite nude, Fred. Uh but don't mind that. My name is Johnny. My friends call me Johnny. <laughs> so you may have said such. I love him. <laughs> sure. Uh, Ronan. This is the best. I, you, you see now a very naked, 
very tall, very well built man walk up. Blade on shoulder. Hi. Johnny. Lucy. Lucy. Johnny. That's Ronan. And uh. Who the fuck is number two? <laughs> oh shit. Around. Oh shit. Where the fuck number two go? Oh to that. fuck. Oh no, the numbers go. The other crew that is now inside the bar. What you do? Who you do? What you do? What you do? Following you Maha. To? So, Maha is gonna blow through the bathroom door and and look at Rory. Ebenezer's in here. Okay. I saw him earlier. Let's let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and then Maha's gonna blow towards the stall that he he saw him in. And uh, tear open the door, and like drag Ebenezer out for Rory to help. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> As she tears the door open, like I see Maha struggling, I'm like I grab him by the shoulder and just like lurch him <laughs> forward. <laughs> um, no worries. I'm, he is poisoned. I've been told that he needs lesser restoration, so I'm just automatically casting it. Uh, lesser restoration or casting on to him. If he's there. You yeah. see as the magic begins to go through your hands. The what well, a man that looked so close to death and a man that drinks quite heavily, all of a sudden gets quite a bit of color back in his face. You see the little bit of the John just kinda of leave his eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. Oh <laughs> I told you. Never trust a number. Never trust a number. <laughs> that, you brought this here. That wasn't Eric. This here. That wasn't Eric. We had a lovely conversation and you turned into an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I know it wasn't Eric. That's the problem. Ebenezer. You brought the rest of them here. And if there's one, there's all the other ones. Well, Ebenezer, what did you tell them? What did you tell them? I didn't get much of a chance to tell anybody anything. <laughs> All I saw was elves and this lunatic ran up to me and I was knocked out. I've had a very not fun evening. Oh. The moment I walked away from all of you and I got into the den, I was kidnapped in my own home. <laughs> well, I start like uncutting the, the uh, rope around his uncutting? wrist. Wait. So you're, I, you're putting more rope on I'm him. putting more rope, just wrapping more rope on. <laughs> like, I feel like this is appropriate. <laughs> Ma Maha helps, but actually his help is cutting. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, so, like, just taking the rope off, like, do you really know my father? Maha yeah, like, I know your father. There's something outside. Just oh. exploded. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I, it's probably... Lucy probably wasn't part of that explosion, though. If we're being Are there fair. any windows? I, I, can I, we look I, outside? Can, you do. And as you do... Um, as you go, you go do that. Johnny, the boys kind of give you a look. Um, I think we might want to just go and get out the, out the darkness for a moment. It's a, It begins to rain a little bit. And... I don't think that thing is going to go too far, and I don't think you want to be here when it comes back. Well, I mean, not to brag or boast, but with you by my side, I think we might have had it down in about, give or take, 20 seconds. Oh, Flashing flat. gets you everywhere, but right now, being naked, I'm not sure what you're trying to go tell me. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to oh, well, I'm just simply saying I notice you have two swords with you. <laughs> Aha! You just see yeah, you, you see that he turns, and you just see Bruno look at the both of you. Uh, 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 <laughs> you two are gonna get along oh, so perfectly. But yes, yes of course. To it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, uh, they tune to both swords. Oh, oh my. be naked for both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as you begin, you're gonna walk up too. You now see actual city guards, silver, blue, metal. They start pouring out of the city. And as they do so, you hear them, on the floor! They're pulling out short bows, they're pulling out blades. And you just see Ronan just, he drops whatever fruit he's got in his hand, he just picks up his hand. We, we were just helping. I'm just helping. 
does help me. You've committed a sex crime, Lucy. <laughs> By being out I, uh, of <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just slide a hand, just snap my rapier back into my teeth, and I'm just like, no problems here. <laughs> the naked one with you the see sword. Them begin to, you see them begin to walk up to, uh, you see them start to walk up to the naked Lucy. You just see Lucy. Oh. Is that going to be the way it is? All right. No, no. You do you. Do you. It's all good. It's all good. And he puts his hands up, and you see that they go going through the processes. As that happens, though, you see someone walking up. Older gentleman. Longer white hair. Looks elven. Oh, no. Long features. Even large in, in concept. And you see that he seems to be walking with some other men. He walks amongst the guards, and you see the guards kind of dissipate. These are friends of Windsor. My commander, forgive me. Please. Gentlemen, the threat is still outside the forest. Let us begin a search party. Let's go to the perimeter, please. Get the hounds. You can see the nod. They begin to move out. And as they begin to move out, you see this gentleman with the white hair turn to the three of you. Hey, do me a favor. When you see your friends, tell them I help. Have a good night. He, he's Elvin? He was Elvin, and as he begins to walk away, his face begins to change. And you see he's a double ganger that begins to walk right through you like if though nothing happened. Oh my gosh. Just continue on his way. That was so nice of him. Oh my god. Rory thinks sure. he's a friend. <laughs> you see yeah, that guess. happens. Ronan looks at you. Lucy looks at you. For the yours. Uh, sorry. I have many friends around the world. I suppose a few could be doppelgangers, but that was uh, someone who I've never seen before. That you know of. <laughs> the hell just happened. And on that note, uh -huh. we'll close it for tonight, and we're going, we'll start up again on next Thursday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my so, god. I'm interesting. So out. Want you all to go and know, I was expecting so much more fighting. And somehow, you managed to testate this monstrosity of a creature that is Seven. I'm going to give you props on that one. Like, I really, really am. I really thought that that fight was going to get bad. I did, too. Yeah, I'm going to be dead Maha honest. If like, didn't I'd... step up like that, Wilbur... we would have been in fight. Yeah, Wilbur was ready to go. I don't know if he saw us taking measurements. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, I in my mind, I'm just like, oh, fuck berries. This but, is about to get really ugly. But I think it's time we start with our closing traditions. I want to thank everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for uh, joining us in the chat tonight and seeing some of us of what we're doing. Yes. We, uh, we appreciate it. Yes, it's you. Yay. And um, welcoming one of our new players, uh, Yoshi Diaz Johnny, and uh, giving, being thankful for the fact that we're all here. And uh, as a, and sharing in this weirdness and all the stupid voices that we all go and do and all the loud noises that we go and make, we appreciate you very much. And I hope to see all of you again soon. So and have a good night and be safe. One last thing we're going to take a little tradition we had talked about is we're going to read out our followers' names in character. We'll take turns each week doing this. So oh, that's right. I'll start us oh, off yeah. this week, and we'll next week we'll pass the torch to someone else. So sure. I'm. Rory, I'm really thankful that you guys are here. Uh, I want to say Tank, awesome dude. Auntie Fawn, who we got to chat with a lot today, was really awesome. Uh, Alasha Zam, uh, Gundam Goku, Yoshi D, <laughs> you're here. Uh, yeah. Hestia187, high fructose syrup, uh, fructose corn syrup, uh, 23 <laughs> Test Cat, Frankenpuss, and Just Tea for Me. Thank you all. Do like, you get true. Did I get troll? I oh, troll two seven nine. Thank you, brother. Always. Well, that was a bad this, fish. This, 
That's, that's a bad fist bump. Okay, there's okay. a troll 279. There's a troll 279 <laughs> underscore. We appreciate Fantastic. all of you. Fantastic. Yeah. And hopefully we have a good adventure next time. We do this every Thursday. I don't know what this was. This was just a weird hand gesture Oof. I did. <laughs> it's okay. It is all right. <laughs> all right, then, guys. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you.